Hey YouTube, Andrew here, a guy with a tractor. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my John Deere iMatch or any other quick hitch that's out there. So if you wanna see my opinion on it, stick around. So for the first two and a half years of having my tractor, I thought quick hitches were a gimmick. I was totally against them. I didn't wanna to have to buy the bushings and I even went as far as I had telescoping link arms on my tractor because that's what I grew up with. That's what I knew, that's what I used. Well, I didn't buy this quick hitch out of wanting to make things easier. Um, I bought it because I was in a need to use my new bush hog that I just bought and the PTO shaft was a little too long. And I had three or four jobs that day that I needed to do. I didn't want to have to take time to cut a brand new uh, PTO shaft. So, quick, uh, quick thinking. I was like, I'll just go buy a quick hitch. So I ran down to the, uh, the Ag Pro. They had one in stock. Picked it up. Threw the bushings on the bush hog. Threw this on the tractor. Hooked it up. It was perfect. Um, and ever since then, every time I use this, I enjoy it more often and wish I had bought it when I bought my tractor. Um, I'm no way sponsored by Deer or any company that makes quick hitches. This is bought with my own money. Um, one of the biggest things originally was I didn't want to buy bushings for every implement I had. Um, and then I was worried that some of my implements wouldn't be quick hitch compatible. But come to find out they're all quick hitch compatible um, bushings aren't horrible. Um, the implements that I use all the time, I have the, the pinned on big bushings. It's got the ends on them. On the ones that I don't use, you know, just a couple times a year, I'll use the just slide on and put the lynch pin in style. But it makes hooking up, unhooking, just a painless task. The only problem I have sometimes is I have to adjust the top link if the implement's not sitting on a level surface. Um, a hydraulic top link would be nice, especially because I get out on some jobs and I'm having to change and I don't have anywhere exactly flat to put it down. So I have to change that. So if you've got a hydraulic top link in one of these, you are in business because it's, you can pretty much just back up and hook up. Um, I did do a few modifications for say on this. A couple of my implements, the lower pins are the correct width. The only issue was my top pin or my top link. Um, and this was one thing I always said, if I got a quick hitch, I was gonna get one that was adjustable. I know some of the earlier eye matches, the top hook is not adjustable and some of the lower end land prides I know are not adjustable. Um, but I wanted one that was adjustable for that reason. That way if something exactly wasn't perfect. But this thing come with bolts in it. I didn't like that because my, my tiller, I have to move it up a notch. And then my bush hog, I had, or not my bush hog, my um, six way rear blade, I had to slide it up one notch. So. I went, removed the bolts that were in it. These are five eighths inch, grade eight hitch pins. Same thing you put in your trailer hitch. I got two of them. They slide in, put a hitch pin in. So now if I do have to adjust my top hook, there is no wrenches. It's literally pull some pins, move it around. That was one thing I did. Another thing I did was all of the um, pins that hold the quick hitch home, when it came, had cotter pins in it. I hate cotter pins. They're made to put on and leave it on. Well, I still sometimes find myself taking this off if I hope someone else's equipment or something, and I didn't want it to have to be a hassle to take it on and off. So every 
this hooks on just like any other implement. It's got linch pins on the bottom arms and a linch pin up here. So everything comes off easy. You can set it off. I think this thing weighs like 70 something pounds, so it's not horrible. Um, would I buy it again? Most definitely. Do I wish I'd have bought it sooner? Most definitely. It has been a tremendous saver because sometimes, you know, I'll swap implements three or four times a day and not having this, I dreaded changing implements. Um, when I'd get home from work, it was, I would rearrange the garage so I could get the tractor and implement in just so I didn't, I was tired, I didn't have to go and hook it. Now it's a simple flip these, go down and drop the implement in the backyard and pull the tractor back in the shop. So um, if you have any questions on it or anything, don't, or feel free to leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for updates on future videos. Thank you, and have a blessed day.